Welcome everyone! In this video, we will explore how to check your registration date and register for courses. Registering for courses is a simple process and one that will be repeated through the progression of your program. It is important to note that a non-refundable deposit must be paid once per academic year. The start of a new academic year is always the fall term. Students in subsequent terms who have previously paid a deposit are not required to pay another deposit, though must reserve their seat in Banner. International students are required to pay full fees prior to registration each term. If you're a new student, this information is communicated through your admissions letters. If you're a returning student, you'll receive a tuition invoice prior to the start of each semester. This invoice is accessible from the Student Portal Document Hub. As a result, international students are not required to reserve their seat in Banner. Let's get started. You can access Banner directly from the login button or the quick links in My GC Life. After confirming your offer to a Georgian College program, you will have received a confirmation letter or letter of acceptance identifying the login and default password for all student systems. If you no longer have access to your login credentials or simply require assistance logging in, contact the Georgian College IT Service Desk. Once you're logged into Banner, select Banner Main Menu, then select Registration. As previously mentioned, if you have not paid a deposit this semester, you will be required to reserve your seat before being able to select a timetable. Use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate term, then click Submit. To reserve your seat, click Yes, I plan to attend in the appropriate semester. Each program will have their own registration window. To identify your exact registration date and time, Click on Check Registration Status. Students will not be able to register for courses prior to their registration date and time. This registration status will inform you of your registration date and time, holds, if any, preventing registration, your academic standing, student status permitting registration, and if you have successfully reserved your seat. Now that we know our registration date, let's proceed to registration and select Register for Courses. You will first be prompted to read the registration policy. When you're done, click Continue. Please ensure the accuracy of your student information. If you notice any incorrect information, contact the Office of the Registrar. If your student information is correct, answer the question, are you graduating at the end of this semester? Then click continue. If you have not already done so, please provide your social insurance number. This information is collected for tax purposes only. If you choose to update this information at a later date, click skip and proceed to registration. Now the fun part. You will see a list of timetable options. These are pre-built timetables that make registration easy and help to avoid scheduling conflicts. These timetables are available on a first-come, first-serve basis. Timetables in blue are open and available, though timetables in black are full and are no longer available. Please take precaution when selecting a timetable. Some timetables are set up specifically for online learners, while others have in-person requirements. Let's select a timetable and learn how to tell the difference. Before we proceed, it's important for students to understand the varying forms of online learning. S-Line indicates synchronous learning meaning that students need to log on and participate at the day and time listed on their timetable. 
A line or line indicates asynchronous learning, meaning that you can log on to the course whenever it works best for you. It's important to note that students must respect all assessment deadlines regardless of the type of online learning. For courses provided on campus, we will be able to see the campus code, building, and room number. When you select a timetable, you will be able to see your selected mandatory courses for your term. Courses without a meeting day or time indicate asynchronous learning. The TP column stands for the type of course delivery. This critical information will help us determine if our courses have in-person components or have no on-campus requirements. Again, please take extra precaution to ensure you select the correct timetable for you. If this timetable doesn't work for your schedule or align with your preferred delivery, please select from one of the other available timetables. To view another timetable, simply click from the list of other available timetables. You will receive a notification if you have selected a timetable that is no longer available. Depending on your program and semester, you may be required to select an option course. In this example, we are required to select one course from the list provided. For a better understanding of the course and what you will be exposed to, click on the course title for a full description. Most programs will require communication and general education courses. Although they may not be required every semester, they are often program and graduation requirements. Under the headings Communication and General Education Courses, students can identify how many classes to select from each course category. If you are a new student in your first semester and have not written a Communications Placement Test or achieved a score of 260 on both tests, you will be required to select Communication Essentials Communication Essentials is a prerequisite course to all other communication courses. To select a communication or general education course, click on Display Sections. You can now select from the available offerings of this course. When you are satisfied with your selections, click Submit to Register. It is important to note that after clicking Submit to Register, you will not be able to make changes to your timetable until the start of the Add and Drop period. Congratulations on your registration! You will now be able to see a full list of your registered courses. Please note that it will take 24 hours for your newly registered courses to populate in Blackboard. If you have questions beyond this video resource, Contact the office of the registrar. Thanks for watching, everyone. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the academics page in My GC Life.